Generally speaking, after a shoot, um, I'll have between you know, maybe four or five gigs of work to run through, and you need a good edit, uh, editing workflow to be able to get through all of that. You can't just open them up individually and then just uh, hope to get through them in any sort of timely fashion. So uh, I tend to um, upload them to my computer, uh, which is automatically then linked to my server. Uh, so I take another copy of that. Uh, of the data and put it on the server. The workflow then from there is to import them into Lightroom, uh, make all my post-production changes through there, and then um, to work out which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm just going to send forward so that the client can see them. Uh, I'll use a little five-star method of um, selecting which ones are important and which ones aren't. The ones that I don't want the client to use, I won't star at all, and uh, they'll um, you know, sit there on the server. I won't delete them, but they'll just sit there in, in case the client comes back and says to me that they want to see a different variation on that shot or on that sequence of shoots. Anyway, um, so the ones that I do use uh, get starred, and then I export them out to a web gallery. Uh, there, the web gallery will be put up on my server so that the client can see the ones that I've selected and then from there the client will select the ones that they want to keep and I will then export the ones that they send back as their selects uh, out into high-res JPEGs. Um, I also give out um, uh, what I call pub or publication quality which are 3000 pixel widths. Um, they also have um, an on-screen show uh, OSS which is 800 pixels. So I'm just trying to make it nice and easy for the client to select which ones they want to use, whether they want to use it for publication, for web, or have the full res files. Uh, the full res files are, have a suffix of FR, so nice and easy, trying to make it easy for myself and for them. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for your question. Uh, if you need any more advice about workflow, then uh, click the links below and add a comment. And uh, thanks very much. Till next time.